Hello and welcome to Off the Press this Monday morning. This is the program where we'll take a look at our national dailies and make sense of it, uh, dissect it as much as we can and, and as much as time would allow us. I won't be alone doing this today. I am joined by Libros Oshoma, who is here in studio. Thank you very much, Libros, for still being here. My it's pleasure. A, it's always good to have you Monday mornings here. Always a pleasure. It's our new job now. <laughs> so, uh, you are not morning. complaining. <laughs> All right. Yes, every morning expect to see Libras, and when Aisha or sorry is able, she will also join us. But today she is not with us. Now we have a couple of papers to review this morning. Um, we have the Nation, we have the Punch, we have the Guardian newspaper. But we'll begin with. Uh, the Nation newspaper, and it's already displayed. Thank you so very much to our production crew there. Now, Buhari wishes uh, virus positive. Well, Buhari wishes Onyema quick re recovery. I'm wondering why he has to be virus positive, uh, Onyema. All right, that story is on page six. No foul play in Arotile's uh, death, says NAF. Uh, killer driver not licensed. Come on, that story is on page five. Agency reports, Madagascar herb can't treat COVID-19. Libros, I'll be waiting for you on this. The story is on page six. And then we have Ondo polls. Um, no, before then, Oshomele lands in Edo to propel APC's victory. Wow. Doctors support Ize Yamu. Um, Obaseki's ally Ize Yamu disagree on agenda. These are more you find inside the Punch newspaper. Now, Ondo polls, that's a big uh, story. Um, tension in APC as vote buying rocks PDP. Um, that's what we can see displayed there on the Nation newspaper. And if you scroll down, please, Imam won against violence and youths don't sell parties ticket. We have something on Amcon to transfer 500, 5 trillion rather debt to taxpayers. Oh, well, that sounds good. That's the reason, page seven also. Uh, there's something on mask there. Anti-face mask wearing protest in London on page six. Banks limit uh, debit card spending abroad. And then we have jump first, second choice admission to begin August of 21st. And then we have 29 escape from police cell. That story, I believe, is on page four of the nation newspaper. Yes, I'm correct. It's on page four. Uh, nation newspaper. All right, Libros, let me hand over to you now. Yeah, uh, um, I would start with um, page seven. I'm going to transfer I saw your eyes five trillion debts to, to taxpayers. taxpayers. And um, um, I, would, um, I, would, I wouldn't want to imagine the content of that, um, of that um, um, headline, uh, but I just hope it is not what I am thinking. What are you uh, thinking? Is it good news? Aren't you happy? Five trillion naira. Um, that's what I'm saying. To transfer five, you know, trillion debts. Mm. It's a debt. It's not. It's not that five trillion. It's oh, yeah. to taxpayers. Mm. So I, I think you're thinking <laughs> what I'm thinking know. now. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So I just hope it's not what I'm thinking. And then mm. if it is, because um, Nigerians are already overtaxed. As we speak, and you know, they pay so much and see less with all of the you know banters flying around. Mm. And then um, I know also you're waiting. You can't wait to hear me talk about uh, Madagascar. Yes, and help. that's why I always say, yes, you know, in the absence of um, information, rumor tribes. That's right. You know, so it's this is the step to take. It is good that you know whether WHO is investigated or not. Once um, you know. Um, uh, cabs are listed or their applications, it is good also for our agencies mm. to take these steps, to take the investigate and take these uh, 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 herbs through clinical trials. So just wave them off. You know, we pose more danger. But now that they have gone through clinical trials and they've come out to say, look, they cannot kill. Yeah, but the thing is that a lot of no, Nigerians, we, okay, land. Yeah, until this information, what, what, what we should be talking about is the behavior of Nigerians after this information. Mm -hmm. You know, now that they know it cannot cure, but you also need to give it to Madagascar for making effort at all. You know, us, you, had, you have all kinds of herbs, Agbo Jedi, Agbo Dat, mm. Agbo this. Why, why should you know, we so give people it people also had, had some point to say, look, there is need to harmonize mm -hmm. 
Let us have, you know, what our scientists doing. Come up with something. Let it be that, oh, you at least, you even came up with something, with something that was tried and then they found out that it could prevent some form of thing and then not kill. Mm. But Madagascar at least came up with something. My disagreement with this, the, your position, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, oh, let no, there be something your... at least to come with and mm. say this is what we have even produced. Yes. But you know that they were convinced that this is COVID-19, this is going to cure COVID-19 yes. and dismissed all the, the claims by you know World Health Organization saying, hold on guys, let's check first. We're not saying I, you shouldn't use, yeah, but hold on. They wouldn't. I agree and with you. And we're also, you know, Madagascar here, yes, you've because, done so well. Because even if you remember, not just Madagascar, even in, in the UK, mm -hmm. there were clinical trials for drugs, mm -hmm. for, for, for anti-COVID um, 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 anti virus drugs. So the fact that Madagascar had come up with theirs and they believed that they had taken it through clinical trial and it was working, it's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. But for me, what we should have done is not just tell them, dismiss them, take it through a clinical process and then come out with a report. You don't just dismiss them because it's coming from Africa. Okay. You know? So that's my point here. And, and so they made effort. So I believe what they would need to go back to do now is to see how they can, since you know, they found out that this is not as effective as they thought, they'll go back to the dream board, which we don't, don't do, do here. Which we don't do here. We are waiting for the cure to come from somewhere. No, but we have I had some listened already. to Femi Adesino <laughs> at some point say that uh, it will take time for the cure to come. And I felt bad because the question would be, what are we doing? to even contribute to the cure. I tell you. And not just mark time and say, let it come from somewhere and then we'll begin to buy. Libras, That's why. We have some already that these that are, this, got. This, this are, are but it's taking time. Individual efforts. Mm. Past Space came up with some and they were listed. They are still going to go in clinical trials. And, and so, these are individual efforts. There should be, you know, a concerted effort by government authorities and agencies. Mm. Uh, but I feel bad because also, would, uh, earlier, uh, earlier on we talked about budgeting. I feel bad that some of these agencies don't even have grants. They are waiting mm. for money for, for foreign donors. And the ones that have will tell you that the, uh, their greatest achievement for 20 years is uh, processing of Kilishi. You know? So <laughs> it, is, it is so sad, but I really would not but, want to dwell on those things. Then, yeah. elections, Edo, Undo, um, Oshomole lands in Edo. Mm. to propel a PC. I would... Um, this is victory. Yes, I would, I would advise. I would advise, um, if I were in that position, I would advise to so Shomole to take a back seat in this Edo election mm -hmm. and allow the battle be between, you know, the contestant, mm -hmm. the gladiators. Reasons being that a lot were said by Oshomole in 2016. I know politicians are shameless. A lot were said by him, <laughs> and now the coin had been flipped. And so, for him not to ridicule himself, mm -hmm. let him take the back seat. Let those who are contesting, let the governor show ca campaign with his project. Why let Obaseki also campaign with antecedent and then what he, he would do, so. yeah. and not what Oshomole thinks he would do? Because in 2016, the governor that Oshomole you know, campaign for. We have seen, you know, what he turned out to be. Right. And, and so, he, he said a lot against Izeyamu. So I wonder, like I had asked PDP, uh, Dan Obi, what changed in Obaseki that you criticized up to the day he moved into APC? And so what has changed no. in uh, uh, Izeyamu? So Shomole should take the back seat. He's, uh, he has done his bits. He should act as an advisor. And I let the gladiators, mm. you know, take the center stage yeah, and fight their interact with the people mm. and fight their battle. Then on Undo, uh, you hear that um, um, tension in APC over as vote buying. I, I still feel bad any time I hear about vote buying, vote buying, mm. vote buying in Nigeria election. You know, we tell ourselves, don't sell your vote. In another breath, we say. Oh, if uh, they offer you money, collect, but vote according to your conscience. Yeah. You know, so it's ironical for you to say, don't sell your vote. In another breath, you say, collect the collect money is our own. Mm -hmm. So what do you indirectly tell it? So a man you collected money from and still voted for him, if he gets there, that money that he has given to you, won't he collect it back? He would. He That's would definitely collect it back. Like, sorry to say this, 
I'm not trying to be self-egoistic. I remember as a young boy in the university, my uncle in worry, I was broke and poor, no money to go to, to the university. And somebody came with a brown big envelope to give to my uncle who was in procurement, say, look, Oga, I came to say, you know, give you this to so fast track my payment. And my uncle told the man, he said, look, it's my job. Don't worry, I will do it. Hmm. Go with your money. And you there know, you are broke. And yeah, I was broke. He told me he didn't have money for me to go back to school. And I felt like, if not for the intervention of that biblical story of Naaman, I almost ran to the man to collect the money. <laughs> and, and so, Thank and, God and, 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 and last time he told me, he said, look, but here I am. I can still sleep well now. I'm retired. Mm. I sleep well. I don't, um, what I have, I need. So, for all of this enough. vote buying, that 5,000 hour you think, vote and go and cook soup. Mm. That soup, you won't eat it for four years. So also, I need to sit down. Recently, they talked about, in their retreat, they talked about reviewing um, election, conduct of election for you know, members who, who are demised or who have uh, been uh, appointed to higher office. Instead of conducting election, let the party nominate. I also want to see a situation where I need to sit down and fine tune our electoral process right. to make it impracticable for votes vote to be bought or vote to be sold, or for politicians to rig election. Mm. But situations where you leave the flank open, thanks to our Supreme Court also, they have thrown the card reader overboard. INEC introduced a card reader to checkmate the vo vote buying and ma ma manipulative election. But the Supreme Court, in their interpretation, thrown it overboard when just opposing over voting with um, the voters' register. Mm. And, and so, but like Eleke the Bed in Chinua and Chebe's uh, mm -hmm. Chiki and the River, right. for the fact that politicians, the judiciary, will consistently toward the effort of INEC does not mean that INEC should rest on their oars. They should ensure that they consistently find new ways to give us transparent elections so mm -hmm. that all of these shenanigans we call elections will be over. Right. And, 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 and so that um, we can quickly take other papers. Uh, th that's, I'll pause here briefly. All right, thank you. So let's go to, let's take the punch newspaper. There, I mean, there are so many items that you've listed out there, and there are so much more on the nation newspaper. But in the interest of time, we'll take the punch newspaper. Amcon develops a strategy to recover five trillion era debts on page 36. I mean, th this one's uh, worded it differently. Intrigues, last minute alignments as 11 aspirants contest Undo APC governorship tickets today. Day. Aspirants' uh, um, factions disagree over indirect primary. Focus on parties' victory, Southwest APC says. And that's the reason. Page two of the Punch newspaper. COVID update, as you can see, COVID 19 update. Just to remind you that Nigeria is close to the 37,000 mark, precisely 36,663 uh, COVID 19 cases, 15,105. Recovered and discharged, thankfully, but 789 people have died uh, from COVID-19. Arotile, um, police take over, to take over case may charge suspect with a manslaughter. Arotile, rather. Uh, Ex-classmate faces seven years imprisonment if convicted. Slain pilots completed promotion exams recently and awaiting deployment. It's so sad. Oh, God rest her. Now, 2020 UTME admission begins August the 21st, according to JAM. That story is on page 20, uh, page 14 rather, of uh, the Punch newspaper. New investor taking over MKO um, Abiola Airport in Oshun. That story is on page 16, I believe. And Ogun replaces a striking isolation center doctors with volunteers. Really? Find out what that is about. And then we have Foreign Affairs Minister Onyema tests a positive uh, for COVID-19. And then Undo woman conspires with lover to kill ex-boyfriend. Oh, wow. Again, such story makes it to the front page. The story is on page five, I believe, of the Punch, the punch newspaper. And lastly, National Assembly uh, vehicles. Contractors petition Buhari demand 875 million naira and threatens suit. That's the race on page eight. How good is that or how bad is yeah, that? Yeah, please, quickly, permit me on um, the issue of um, um, 
Um, right. No, Ondo woman conspired to kill lover. No, uh, um, conspires with um, mm. lover and kills ex boyfriend. Yes, uh, please permit me. I would not specifically that case, but the case of insecurity, mm. which is if not even recorded here because it's very dear to me. Over the weekend, I lost a, an older brother, a friend, oh, an God. old schoolmate, a former speaker of Edo State House of Assembly, um, Honorable Zakawano. Oh, sorry, Unfortunately, friends. while they were taking the body to Auchi for burial, the wife was kidnapped. No! Along Lokoja Road. That's the state of the insecurity in Nigeria today. This is just it's over the weekend? Over the weekend, on Saturday. And, and so it is so sad. Imagine the trauma the family will be going through now. But I would beg the authority mm -hmm. to do whatever they can do. Not because it is Zakawano's family, mm -hmm. but for Nigerians, it, could it be can any be Nigerian. anybody. That's right. You imagine the trauma that woman would be going through. Mm -hmm. And that said, it, uh, for me, insecurity should, it shouldn't be something that we should condone in Nigeria. And then, also, you look at, um, look at um, the case of um, the young female pilot, Arotile. Yeah. I feel sad. That's that the only, there is no way you can give justice to her family. There is no way, nothing you can, she's gone. Imagine the, the I have children, so I know the pains. I know, I know the, I know the, the pain of having to, you know, lose a loved one. Not to talk of the one you have invested so much in, who had so much life. Promising Not future. that she died in the war front, but that she died carelessly hmm. in the arms of a classmate. And, and so, a lot of people, the same way I was talking about information, a lot of, there are a lot of, um, conspiracy theorists, yeah. and like the Air Force had said, but we also want to see a thorough investigation, mm -hmm. a thorough investigation conducted and made transparent, and then prosecution also should be timely. It shouldn't be a situation of, oh, the wind mill of, mill of justice grinding so slowly. Mm. For our today, these are people who are laid, for our tomorrow, they've laid down their today. Yeah. She could have as well gone to, to, to study, another course instead of a young lady and it's the same thing with striking medical doctors it's part of replacing them with, with volunteers. volunteers yes it is good because you need to attend to patients but my fear here my problem here is if at this time of of a national crisis a war situation we are having a situation where the doctors who have been promised allowances you can't even take care of their salaries. It shows the value of life we place on humans here. Yes, some people will say it's insensitive of the doctors, you know, to go on strike at this time. But also you need to understand that this is the only time they can ask for that which they're entitled mm -hmm. to. They are not asking for that which is not their entitlement. The one they have worked for. Give us, including the one that you promised us. Yeah. In some cases, some are even complaining of lack of medical equipment, and yet you hear that somebody bought equipment with four point something billion naira, and the equipment are not there. And then the next thing, the person goes to buy a house in, mm -hmm. in VGC. He's driving expensive cars. That's the value we place on human lives in Nigeria. And it is so sad. And here we are again now. They are going for primaries today in Ondo, mm -hmm. and then money will be spent. They will dispatch Ghana must go funds in Ghana must go will be distributed. <laughs> and so the delegates should also know when you look at the papers, the front page of newspapers, what you see is a reflection of the leadership that you have in your country. Sadly. And so you should know that there's a higher responsibility placed on you today to nominate those people who will be flag bearers. Let us move beyond celebrating road const construction I as know. dividends of democracy. <laughs> Let us move beyond celebrating pipe bone water as dividends of democracy because in 1977, I've said it here before, if you know a village called Okbila in Edo yeah, State okay. where you had the cement company, as far back as 1977, Okbila had pipe bone water. But today, 
2020, that is 40 something years yes, later, Lagos cannot boast of pipe bond water. Majority of the major part of Lagos, we're talking over overhead tanks. Mm -hmm. You build a house now, you must sink a borehole. And we are very happy. We no longer talk of waterboard. So there's a higher responsibility <laughs> in existence, placed on add. these people mm -hmm. to nominate those leaders today. And they should decide what kind of headlines would I want to be seeing right. in newspapers about my state from, from this moment on. Yeah, uh, Liberals have really made very crucial points there. But in the interest of time, we'll move on to Guardian. Before the debate, just to add that, you know, um, when you were having a conversation about doctors, uh, striking doctors and, you know, the conversation are saying they are being opportunistic and all of that. And I'm just wondering to myself, if we don't give them what is due them, and yet you say, oh, they shouldn't go to UK, they shouldn't go where they have better opportunities. I'm wondering, what, 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 how do you, what when, do you want? When even our nurses, <laughs> what do we want? our nurses abroad are treated far better than it's our crazy. professors, medical professors here. And so you find situations like this and then you say don't go to where I the mean, grass is greener. It's, it's and crazy. then you treat them like, like wretched mm. of the earth here. And then they are treated like kings in other parts and you say they shouldn't go there. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Now, um, let's quickly take the Guardian newspaper. 600 and, f oh, rather, 64 billion naira e-waste poses health risks for Nigerians and others. Uh, that's what uh, the Guardian has got as their big story. Mm -hmm. And if you scroll down a bit, um, still on Guardian newspaper, rift among Southeast senators over multi-billion SUV. Uh, SUVs deepen. Jam wants a uh, tertiary institution on post-UTME screening, uh, screening fees. Foreign Affairs Minister, I think we'll just take uh, two stories from there. Ikiti, to begin enforcement of face masks today, set up special court. What's your thoughts on that? And then maybe the rift among the Southeast Senators, so we can wrap. We have. Yeah, two things. Um, the e waste, the e waste, and, um, and um, the rift among the um, Southeast, Southeast, which is senators. also a waste. Um, <laughs> yes, it's, e, it's part of e waste. The e waste is uh, these junks that will import from Europe second-hand um, um, e-wastes like laptops, you know, hard disks. Some of them go to, you know, some of these uh, second-hand markets. Computer village. You see all of them, all sorts. And yet, you know, some of these are not even working and we don't know where to, what to do with them. And, and so, what's the, the, now, it's always very timely. They warn us that, look, if nothing is done, you know, a few years from now, these two ways, you won't be able to manage them because they are not like paper that mm -hmm. you think that... You they're non-degradable. Some of them, yes, a lot of them are not degradable. So what are you going to do with them? And that also brings us to leadership. When you don't produce, your country becomes a junkyard Correct. for others. And so when they produce new ones, they intentionally devalue the old ones and then they ship them to you. Imagine a country that as far back as 1977 were producing cars today, we drive new, brand new cars there, but today, 40 something years later, we are very happy to ride, you know, second hand car. We mm. say, oh, first grade to Kumbo. That we celebrate. We even take it to church. You know? <laughs> Liberals, that's I, exaggeration. Quickly. Yes, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I bought a, a fairly used car and somebody said, oh, yes, oh, we'll grade one. It. I have to wash it. We need to take it to church to bless. And I asked the person, the person that originally bought it, you know, brand new in America. What did, what, what did he do? <laughs> how many heads you, has he got? How many, how, many, <laughs> how many Thanksgiving did he go for? It is that bad. Mm. And so that's where you have lawmakers now celebrating or, or quarreling over SUVs. Over SUVs that are not enough to go around. And we do, we do not produce one here. Mm. And so some of these SUVs, tomorrow they die. They become waste also. Some are abandoned on the road. Some are junks. Some are accidented and parked at police station. So the, it is time we put on our thinking cap to begin to think. I talked to, just before the program, I was telling you about steel. I grew up in Delta Steel. And I remember those days. Some of these e-waste today would have been compressed and, and melted at the SMS shop in our steel companies. Mm. So thank God we are reviving rail. Steel is the bedrock of, of any nation. And so now that we are reviving our rail to connect it back by Ajakuta and Alaja, we also should be 
thinking of how to revive our steel industry. Right. And it will be difficult to manage most of this waste because you just take them to the steam entry shop and they are liquefied and used to create, you know, uh, 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 billets and other uh, 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 products that you can even use to make your aluminium, um, what do you call it, uh, uh, st uh, 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 steel, um, um, whatever. So, and that's why we need leadership. Everything boils down to leadership. leadership. And so once you have the right leadership in place, some of these things are not rocket science. If we have the right leadership in, in place, mm -hmm. we can produce aeroplane in Nigeria. Agreed. We can produce anything. And then, this idea of blaming the West, they are also competing. They will not want your own to be better. That's right. Because That's the right. moment you are better, you, you have reduced the market for them. Mm -hmm. So they will always want yours not to be good so that they will have you, you know, as market consistently. So you need to make consistent effort to rise above that. You think they are also happy. Recently, the British um, High Commission issued a statement saying that, oh, we know you have, there are so many Nigerians that want to visit their relative abroad. Don't worry, we'll soon open applications <laughs> of visa. No, not because they, they care about because you. Because they want your But money. because they know how much they generate from visa applicants. Correct. And so the earlier we realize that we all need to look inward and begin to find a way to create a better life for us so that our people will remain here, mm -hmm. the better. Otherwise, one day you just suddenly wake up and find out that there's nobody left here but the riffraffs who will be ruling over the riffraff because That's the sad. good ones would have left out of frustration. Hmm. Thank you so very much, Libra Soshoma. It's always a pleasure to, My pleasure to have you here. And we hope that we make our own a better place. We pray so. All right. And that's how we wrap it here on Off the Press today. Uh, we do this, remember, Monday to Friday. The time is 8.30 a.m. here on Plus TV Africa. And I am Amaka Okui asking you and reminding you to keep safe out there.